Think of supermodels, think of pop stars, and think of virgin figures. In Spain, the female figures which are still most praised by the masses are the religious virgin icons. On the evening of the 16th of July, practically all the fishing villages and towns along the coasts of Spain pay tribute to one of their most beloved. The Virgin del Carmen, otherwise known as La Estrella de los Mares, or Star of the Seas, protects and guides the fishermen and mariners at sea. The origins of this particular celebration date back to the Old Testament. Succumbing to old age, the prophet Elias retreated to a cave in Mount Carmelo near Haifa in Israel. Hermits later following in his footsteps seek the protection of the Virgin Mary of Mount Carmelo, the Virgin of Carmen. Also known as Stella Maris, she was soon adopted by mariners and fishermen everywhere as their patron to guide them on their way through the unpredictable oceans. It's hard to believe that traditions such as these survive nowadays. Well, in Spain, they are kept burning alive. Even in one of the busiest touristic locations of the country, the Costa del Sol, tradition competes with the commercial world. In Los Poliches, Fuengirola, where this celebration is considered as one of the most important in the religious calendar, life comes to a halt. Forget Madonna. Here, the only queen who reigns is the Virgin del Carmen. Over 80 mariners are required to hold her throne and parade her through the streets of the town towards the sea. The men require an enormous amount of effort, endurance and concentration to carry the throne, which some say weighs enough to stop a train. They face over a two kilometer journey to reach their destiny. The procession is typically accompanied by a brass band, with the drummers leading the way to maintain the rhythm of those carrying the throne. The locals fill the streets, abandoning their jobs and everyday lives to catch a glimpse of the much-loved Virgin del Carmen, many praying and giving their thanks to her. It's a fascinating ritual for any tourists unused to religious celebrations of this kind. What can be more surreal than seeing an enormous virgin move through the streets which are normally filled with traffic, noise, bright lights and bustling people? As night begins to fall and the throne is illuminated, the intricate details of the metalwork and the delicate features of the virgin are highlighted, creating an ethereal, quite enchanting image. Cries of Viva la Virgen del Carmen, or Long Live the Virgin del Carmen, can be heard throughout the procession. The fishermen have finally arrived at their destination. With cheers and applauses from the public, they carry the Virgin into the sea. we rate this birthday celebration alongside those of other female icons. Naomi Campbell may not even get a mention at all. Madonna is talked about a bit on the radio. But the Virgen del Carmen receives adoration from the public, a fireworks display and a night of partying all over the country dedicated to her memory. I think that says it all.